activity tracking, steps, calories, daily targets. One, two, three. Let's check how precise it is in measuring my steps. Good evening, nice to have you in my studio. You know, my wife has bought me a new chair. Uh, I made about 3000 videos on the chair you would not want to see. I think somehow you, 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 were, you were able to see it sometimes just in the corner of my video, especially servicing. This one is so comfy, so thank you, buddy. Uh, today uh, we're gonna um, sum up the review or test. It, it was a long distance test of the... Hmm, what is it actually? It, it's not just the activity tracker, it's not a smartwatch. I would say this is like heart rate monitor, uh, easy to use sports watch, shall we say, and it is a Sigma ID dot run HR. Sigma, please give it a name because this ID run HR People will never, will never uh, rem remember this one. I'm gonna show you the basic um, features of uh, this device, uh, but I can tell you right at the beginning. In my opinion, it is overpriced. It should not be that uh, that expensive Sigma, because um, when I'm testing different bike computers, there is so many comments like, why, why would I even buy a bike computer since I have a smartphone? Smartphone isn't good for everything. It will not replace most of the of the bike computers, especially those professional ones. But in this case, I would really struggle to make decision Sigma ID, H, ID Run HR versus smartphone plus $20 heart rate strap. This um, device will cost you um, over $100, could be even $150, and it's too much for the device. But there are still, there, there are still some customers who are searching for this kind of, uh, not only gadget, but device. Let's see how it works. This is how the Sigma uh, looks like. It doesn't look very modern. It could be more similar in the design to those smartwatches. I know it's not the jewelry because we have a, basically a rubber uh, and the plastic here, but the look is not great. As for the features, we've got the uh, GPS-based speed and distance, activity tracker, it's multi-sport, so running, walking, recreation, cycling. Uh, this is weightlifting, I think, here. That's interesting. Your personal best, uh, wrist-based heart rate. Here is the little um, optical sensor. And then the connectivity uh, with the PC throughout the USB cable and with the smartphone wireless. And here are some more info about the options. And that's basically it. Activity tracking, steps, calories, daily targets, and then all the basic uh, info about your training. You can have the zone indicator. You can set the, the training zone and see how, how much into the zone you are. And here is the Sigma Link app for the smartphone, data center for the uh, PC. Data center is the same uh, software that you use for Sigma bike computers. The most interesting feature on this one, I think, is the uh, optical uh, heart rate sensor. When you turn this one on, let's see what's my heart rate. You will see this blinking uh, um, green light. And only thing, the only thing you have to do is even this. You don't have to wear it actually on the wrist. It will basically start from 75 and go either up or down. And within about 10 seconds, you're going to see your actual heart rate. So it, it goes down, should be about 60 or so right now. So it goes down. Okay, so my heart rate right now is 68 or so. This is pretty good. You don't need a strap. This is uh, very, uh, very handy, um, especially when you don't do any crazy movement it will show you the actual heart rate. When the activity tracker is on, down here, we can navigate through different data from my activity. So what I'm doing, how uh, active I am, uh, what's, what's the type of my activity today, how many steps I've made, very precise. Calories, uh, how far I went, 
and now also you can measure the heart rate it will always start kind of with 75 and then go either down or up uh, so that's my heart rate right now 69 uh, and this is the feature I'm using for measuring my um, resting heart rate uh, every morning Let's see now how precise the Sigma ID Run HR is in measuring our heart rate. Uh, the Sigma uses the built-in optical sensor and on the right side it's also Sigma. This is my bike computer uh, which is connected to the strap on my body. Uh, and so the right side is the, the go-to and very precise method of, method of measuring the heart rate during the training. That's what the professional do. On the left side, that's just the easier way and cheaper way of doing it. As you can see, it is quite precise. Uh, it is okay. I mean, you can use uh, the ID Run HR for measuring your uh, resting heart rate. That's what I do and how I use it. I don't want to go for the strap in the morning and then my heart rate goes up. That's the good way. Uh, so it's quite okay. But while you are running or doing something, you will see some differences. So let's just see. 10 squats and and find out what will be the difference one two three ten the heart rate will definitely go up so on the left side we have 93 on the right side we have 91 there's no big deal so it's no big deal 91 91 88 on the right side 100 on the left side 102 103 so hmm, I think the Sigma on the left side lies a little bit, but just with a, within a few seconds, it will go down to pretty much the same numbers. Sometimes this Sigma would show higher heart rate. Sometimes this one, uh, because I've been doing a couple of different tests, uh, but all in all, Sigma ID Run HR with this simple method of measuring heart rate is quite precise, especially if it's stable. So if you're also running, making your run like 30 minutes run or so, it will tell you more or less uh, in which uh, zone you are training. Uh, but don't uh, don't just look at it every second and don't think it will be like instantly uh, showing you the right uh, HR. Let's check how precise it is in measuring my steps so it's quite amazing can you see left right left right eight six eight seven eight 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 nine ninety ninety one ninety two ninety three ninety four ninety five uh, ninety six okay let's move on one two three four six seven eight nine ten see this is super precise here is the option you're gonna probably use the most besides the tracking and that's the training let's go for it uh, you you enter the training and then you choose between different profiles it can be running cycling or your own profile you can set it uh, like partially through the uh, watch itself and also some more details on the Sigma data center. I'm going to show you that. Let's go for run. First thing, I'm just seeing this GPS search and I can start my training and I have GPS. So I'm not sure whether we should wait for some confirmation of GPS found found or so. I'm just going further and I can start my, my training. It will see I'm training. So let's just run a bit. Okay, and it says training press because uh, it it sees through the GPS I'm running. Okay, so training started. And as I'm running, I can see the distance, the, the speed, my heart rate. Now training has been passed, so I haven't been waiting for the GPS to be found. It's just working. Sometimes it will uh, it will lose connection, but not very often. It, it, won't be maybe very precise or strong in terms of the GPS, but it's okay for measuring uh, everything you need. So speed, distance and the heart rate, then the stride rate, step length, that's here. Let's just do it. 
That's the example of it. Training time, lap time, and then target zone, heart rate. Okay, uh, the target zone uh, up there at the top uh, of, the, of the screen. I'm not in the zone right now. I'm gonna show you what will happen when I'm in the zone. All right, not in the zone first. So nothing at the top. Now I am in the zone and you can see the black uh, something <laughs> coming up on the left top of the screen, of your screen. So you can set the zone for yourself and make sure you are running in it. When you see the screen being black, that means uh, the training has been paused because I have stopped. When I start uh, running again, it will change the color into the, the bright one. Let's send now the training data from the Sigma to our smartphone. Let's switch the NFC protocol both on the watch and on the smartphone. Great, it's all there. Now the Sigma Cloud is being synchronized with the Sigma Link. So all the data from Sigma Link goes uh, there into the cloud and then from the cloud to the data center on the PC. It's time to sum up. The Sigma ID.runHR is easy to use, I would say user-friendly for sure uh, device. Uh, overpriced Sigma, this is overpriced device. I know other devices will have similar price, you could have lower, that's my opinion. Uh, but there are some people who can benefit from using this one. Uh, those who want to get more fit and those who want to lose weight. I'm always telling you losing weight is not about calories and focusing on calories, calories, calories. But this device with the tracking, activity tracking, will definitely alarm you how little uh, you are moving throughout the day, week, month, year. And you can track it, you can see it on a very simple app on your smartphone. Probably you're not gonna be using the PC version, but the smartphone uh, app Sigma Link. That's good. It should be cheaper, it can be helpful. Uh, it's not a professional. Uh, device uh, if you are into cycling as most of my viewers for this amount of money you could have some nice bike computer but this one is both for running and cycling so you choose as I said no problems the GPS is okay the heart rate uh, measuring precision is okay I have nothing nothing bad to say about it so that's the Sigma ID run H are if you have one let us know in the comments how do you use it see you guys bye bye can alarm you how little you are moving throughout the day oh and then she comes and i have to do it again hello